Hey everyone, my name is Adisha and today we'll be covering the airplane. Okay, so how does an airplane actually work? We know that it flies in the sky and it's super cool to be honest, but wait, why did I just cause an engine failure? Uh, whatever. So these are the forces of an airplane. We have lift, first of all which is caused by the airflow. I won't show that now. But lift is basically lifting the airplane. Drag is basically air friction or air resistance, pulling the airplane backwards from where it's going. Thrust is the force that keeps the airplane going. And weight is basically the force of gravity that affects on the airplane. When when thrust is uh when thrust is greater than drag, the airplane moves forward. When lift is greater than weight, then the airplane will go higher. When weight is greater than lift, the airplane will go lower. Now I think it's time to show you the airflow. Air goes faster in one place than the other, to be simple. Somewhere over here, it goes much faster than under here. Because of that, this creates a force that lifts the airplane up into the air. But what if there's an engine failure? Now when, th now when this happens, thrust ceases to exist and dies instantly. And lift gets so small that it can't sustain the plane's weight. For a recap, lift is the force that puts the airplane up into the air, thrust is the force that moves it forward, weight is basically gravity's effect, and drag is the air resistance on the plane. Air goes faster one place than another, usually somewhere up here. So this creates an upward force, pulling the airplane upwards by force. When there's an engine failure, when there's an engine failure, thrust ceases to exist and lift also ceases to exist but gets smaller but never stops. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!